Hello, my name is Dina Ade and I'm here at Cloud Studios alongside Joyce Olong and I'm also here at Cloud and And I'm Maka. I'm here with my sisters at Cloud. <laughs> so we're to talk about the plight of women in the music industry and right before we came on I said I don't know how I feel about that because <laughs> I don't feel like I struggle okay. with being a female per se I don't think I struggle beyond anything that my male counterparts experience I think it's a very cutthroat industry but you know maybe halfway through this discussion I'll have a completely different perspective or I'll feel differently so anybody want to talk about any experiences that stand I out actually, I'm actually with with you on that too you know um, most of the things that I have to deal with every other nigga out there probably is dealing with the same thing right and it's it's funding mostly you know right you're just right. <laughs> getting enough money to move forward but even though we are blessed to say that we don't fall under the category of women who are going through, you know, them issues in the industry. It's still a thing. It's still real. There's still women out there who have quit out of the frustration of the things that they have had to deal with in the game. And just like, you know, fuck it. I can't do this anymore. I'm out. So so I guess who would also speak on their behalf. So I would like to let everybody know that it's real. And niggas should stop stressing us or stressing <laughs> stressing them in general, really, really. Well, what do you think, Joyce? Um, I think for us it's more about like trying to navigate the industry as women in music. Because as women they always try to make it a category like, Oh, you're a producer, oh you're a female producer, you're a drummer, you're a female drummer, yeah, a guitarist, female guitarist. So it's almost like our sex is used as a category. I get it. Oh my god. I, yeah. um, my friend Flo, Flo the rapper. Mm -hmm. You guys know Flo. Flo yes. is an amazing rapper, but they always say female, female MC rapper, right? when they're trying to describe her. Like female rapper Flo does is blah blah blah. I'm like, Flo is a rapper who has killed like many guys in <laughs> ciphers. Like she is a rapper, full stop. She's an MC, full stop. Mm -hmm. She's not a female rapper. You don't say male rapper. Yeah, male rapper. <laughs> that, it makes no <laughs> sense. You know? Why does it have to be that way? It's also part of the things that we go through. Yes, it might not be as crazy as um, um, sexual um, assaults and all that, but yeah. it's still, it's still something. You know that label. You know what, I think, okay, so if you know, you know that my music tends to be very honest as far as, like, the female perspective goes. That's, you know, as as far as, like, sexual relations go, relationships go. And um, there was a point in time where they were trying to brand me as a sexually... Sexy, sexy sultry. You know, and <laughs> I just, like, I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not speaking about anything that's out of the ordinary because men constantly speak about their you know their activities with mm -hmm. women whiskey said mudomo meji which means i'm fucking too big what does that mean oh <laughs> mad 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 you know <laughs> and i'm here just like you know talking about my love for someone or like yeah. my pussy's popping for you or whatever and it's just like oh <laughs> these women are you know corrupting our children <laughs> and i was like why is this responsibilities Barely, I mean, solely on one person when mm. the majority of your industry wouldn't survive if they weren't talking about women's backsides. <laughs> you know, it's so. um, even just yesterday, I was on Twitter and I, no, 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 I got a notification about uh, Cardi B and Offset and then mm. her WAP song mm -hmm. and how, um, oh, everyone is talking about um, how the derogatory and how vulgar the song is and blah 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 that why would a woman be singing about her wet ass pussy and you know things like that and then the comments were like come on you rappers like what do you guys talk about Offset himself that was like, they said that Offset was embarrassed by the song I don't know how true because, they're, be because they're best friends with the Offset <laughs> true but you know <laughs> and uh, well, the article I read said you know that he didn't like the song and blah blah blah. Indeed. I don't know how true it is. What's that business? But if really, he didn't like it. Like even if he didn't like it, okay, let us say he didn't like the song. Come on, offset. Come on, have you googled his lyrics? Bad Come on. Like, That's even enough. For as me. in like all the rappers, like everyone 
will talk about how powerful their penises mm-hmm. are. You know, they they talk about the the magic they can do. Fifty Cent, Lil Wayne, everybody, and it's like when a woman tries to be as honest mm-hmm. as they you know get to be, it's unfounded. Like we we have to be these good girls and you know sing about twinkle twinkle little <laughs> stars and I, and shit like that. And it's such a weird <laughs> thing because it's such if you watch. Well, I don't watch MTV and stuff that much anymore. But when I used to, you see, like, you literally see twerking mm-hmm. in every video. And it's like when a woman, Etiwa Savage, or somebody is, like, you know, minimally dressed, it's just like, oh, my God, the world is over. But it's like, how are you guys not addressing the fact that they're girls that are in thongs mm-hmm. shaking their asses when kids are watching as opposed to somebody that is really just mm-hmm. expressing themselves creatively? It's such a... But I I, honestly, you. I feel like I'm at the point where I just don't care. What no. I don't even get is, at the end of the day, it's a job. Like the 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 females who dress that way are trying to appeal to a particular the um, male gaze. Yeah, and that's what they like. That's what the audience wants, and they're just giving them what they want. Like sometimes left to them, so they would even want to show up in a boo boo. Yeah, but you know what's funny is that I don't think it's about the male gaze per se. In the last two years, I really changed how I dress on stage, Mm -hmm. and it's because I'm an artist and I have the liberty to express yourself, come to clout, and wear my baggy tee. Mm -hmm. But I can go on stage and pretend I'm Diana Ross, (laughs) you know, and I do that through my attire, and it really makes me feel powerful. And I really feel like it helps me. express my message better yeah so if i want to pull up in nipple tassels i was upset, just coming from that perspective up. of like it's a job at the end of the day for some people like they like on a regular day they could be dressed like this right but once they get on stage that is how they feel they express the right. music better you know, right dressed yes like that so for some women it is just a job for them they yeah. are only dressed like that when they have to show up as you know their um, and their celebrity vibes and all. So, and I think it's necessary also that. that we s- we talk about women that also, you know, kind of police women because they're not that type of person. So, as, as a show that I did last year, and there was a celebrity, there was a singer that mm-hmm. was in the same restroom as me, and she was like, "Is there tissue in your store?" I and I was like, "Ah, oh, yeah." And I was like. Hi, and she's like, hi, and she's like, my, I'm so and so. I know you're not. You can't <laughs> be. She said that. her name, and I was mm-hmm. like, no, you're not. She's like, no, I am. And then I was like, okay, prove it. What? <laughs> <laughs> so then we both came out, and I was like, oh my god, it's really you and stuff. And she's like, okay, <laughs> that you have an interesting outfit. And I was like, I'm about to perform. Like if I was not about to perform, I wouldn't be wearing this because my skirt is so uncomfortable right now. She's like, but do you know that you don't have to because I was looking at you and I'm, I'm like, oh, she's a singer. That some people are gonna wait for you to fuck up. I'll be watching you to see what you can do. Wow! <laughs> not, I swear. And I was like, I could pull this off, and I do my thing. I so. you killed it. Of course I did. <laughs> I mean, I was just like, bitch. I hope you saw me. <laughs> <laughs> you know. And I think, but she's she's significantly older, mm-hmm. and she comes from it. And I don't blame her because when she probably first came out, the industry it definitely isn't what it is now. So she's looking at it from that perspective. But I think we're also, as the times are evolving, as our industry is evolving, we need to evolve with the industry as Mm -hmm. well. Mm -hmm. Just so that we are not left behind in comparison to like South Africa, Kenya, the Americas, Mm -hmm. Europe and stuff like that. I think it's very necessary. So, yeah. Yeah. And then like most um, people are kind of afraid of the sexual liberation women are having now. Every it's like every decade, there's a group of people that are mm-hmm. afraid. Janice Joplin, oh my God, she's talking about how like her um this thing her man like she's leaving her man and she's going to go fuck another guy. Mm-hmm. And then in the eighties you have another one, nineties you have mm-hmm. the early two thousands you have, you know the early two thousands they were kind of good girls with Destiny's yes. Child mm-hmm. or Ashanti. TLC. Yeah, Ashanti is not a bad girl. I but know, like, but it's in okay, yeah, come on. With Foxy Brown, Foxy Brown, and then Lil Kim, Whew. Nicki Minaj, mm-hmm, all these guys. Mm-hmm. You know, see, see all of them. They kind of look the same way. They've made them like do the same poses. But it's mm-hmm. just, it's I think the people that are saying like <clears throat> at the 
forefront of like telling them what to do are still guys. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe they have women on their team say that, that are able, like that will say, "Oh, this is." They, this is. At the end of the day, you can't take you can't take away the fact, the truth that sex does sell. It, it does sells sell. Too. And yeah. when and when your 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 message is mostly about that, the image kind of has to Follow. to go to to go with it. So yeah. that's just it. And I just see it as it's just a job, man. It's it just is. a job. The same way um, um, today, and well, then again, well, now we're now in the well, we're in the time where man or woman, male or female, you can express yourself however you want, and like the 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 judgment is not as intense as it was actually. So 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 there's that. Like anybody can literally wear anything now mm-hmm. like you can just express yourself the way you want to you know the way you feel like it and you know what i think i've lost my point <laughs> i've lost my point to be honest i've lost where i was going i don't even remember sexual where liberation I was, man. Where I was going with sexual liberation anymore. for real yeah that's why but WAP exists so <laughs> I, don't know. I want more i want more of that like I, honestly actually oh my god when WAP first came out i was jamming need i was like nah <laughs> this video is everything like, i actually really like that video that no video man is, is amazing I, as in, <laughs> oh, I really like uh, that, no, video. that video is fantastic and the beat oh my god and that sample so hot. there's some ah, this house. Like, <laughs> I, for like a it. week it was there. There's some holes in this house playing in my head, <laughs> and then I would even switch it to the, uh, like, there's some chores in this <laughs> house. Like, I'm cooking. I'm like, there's some chores in this house. But there's it's amazing chores. how women actually react to that type of music. Mm-hmm. You see how women are. St- we feel it. We're so yes. I don't know if I, I can't say anybody's really a whore, but you know, there's just a level of power that you get from. Okay, because I think in order to sl- uh, to shame a woman, you slut shame her. Mm-hmm. Look at Ashewo, useless girl, useless, mm-hmm. loose, mm-hmm. this is that. Course. And when somebody sings about that, it's like, yeah, they're so cool. Mm-hmm. It's like, hey, what, what else what can you use? use? <laughs> you know, uh-huh. it's like how loud and proud. We've taken, we've we've taken some words back. You know, like like bitch. Mm-hmm. We've taken ah. it. We've taken bitch back. It's like, yeah, I'm a so, bitch. And then they say, baby, in total control of herself, bitch. Nice. Yeah. Love I was it. on the phone one day. I was talking to my friend. I was like, yes, bitch. My mom was like, Maka. And I was like, mom, no, bitch in a good way, man. Don't worry. Like, yeah, it's fine, mom. It's cool. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, we have, I don't know, there's a lot for us as women, like to, I don't know, to focus on. Um, Let's see. Uh, There is, I don't know. There are so many things. Where do we start from? I think, um, Women sometimes could be a little bit one way, you know, like um, they want to be, they want to portray this particular image and they just kind of want to stick to it. Like we don't have a lot of versatility and even when it comes to playing instruments, Mm -hmm. not a lot of us are in there. Even um, production, sound engineering, you know, different areas of the music business it's male dominated and to be honest it's not because oh it's it's male dominated a lot of women are not just interested in trying to learn production and i feel like <laughs> i'm one of them to be honest i just want to sing and i just want to show up sing and move on like i don't want to to be to be seated in front of a screen mixing and you know trying to produce i don't want to do that but i feel like a lot of women should actually try and diversify um, but there are, a lot of girls. Mm? there are a lot of girls out there that's like, you know, they have this, um, I saw one, her name is Track Girl. Uh, there's Track Girl that is... she is Nigerian? No. I'm speaking, of like, I'm Nigerian? speaking ah. for, this conversation mostly in is Nigeria. for us all right, all right. here. Stay yeah, here. yeah. But you mix, right? I do mix, I produce. And I'm actually in awe of that, like, that's, that's good, but yeah. I don't even want to... <laughs> I mean that's it. fair because like, I, I hate interested. the idea of production. I can't I stand that. Why? But I play the I keyboard and that's the extent mm-hmm. of you know. I can mix, but I won't produce. No, and the only reason I I learned to mix is because I'm anal about my vocals. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. If you messing up my vocals, mm-hmm. I'm like, this is no, I don't want that auto tune. <laughs> but you know, but um, yeah, I think I think. I don't know why girls aren't 
I don't know why they're not um, in those realms more. I know like Simi is a fantastic engineer. I know that Adekunle Gold's first album, she mixed and mastered everything. Mm. Mm. She mixes yeah, all of her yeah, vocals. That. That's why her, yeah. her sound is always consistent mm-hmm. and it's clean. Mm-hmm. Um, but again, our industry is very young. I mean, I remember when Tongulu first came out. And to me, that was the birth of what we're experiencing now. When Mohit was first, like, you know, what it is. I mean, when they first came out with this new sound. Like, mm-hmm. The new industry. That was, that was like, what? Because the Nigerian f- music industry is not as, it's not young, but the, the new No, vibe, but the yeah. new age, the, yeah. it, the sound that took us internationally yeah. is very, yeah. it's, you know. That's from like Mohit's time. From mm-hmm. Mohit. And then we talk, then the, you know, there's a change like when then Whiskey came in. Because then Fela and the rest of them were international, like from day one. Mm, they were international, but not like many of them were. Like, not many of them yeah, were. They the were very select. Fela, Sonia Lade, um, Sonia Ade. Yeah, they were all international. But if you go, if you travel now, Nigerian music is very, very popular. I said, yeah. I said mainstream international. Okay, yes, okay, yeah. But they were international, like even in their time, playing that. Yeah, 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 yeah. But not events, like elitist type shit. Exactly. Yeah. It was very elitist. Yes, yeah. yes, yes. So um, I think we're still, I mean, where we are right now is very. Young yeah. and I feel like there's some eighteen year olds that are going to you know five years from now we'll have a few more mm-hmm. producers that are female mm-hmm. okay. and yeah you know I see that happening but I think there well. has to be acceptance of female creatives as well because again I can only speak from experience I did a camp with uh, a musician in January and she's a female and out of the twenty nine people that were there as songwriters and producers only three people were female Mm. and Mm. i know that i'm not the only so i know me and the girl that was the songwriter there we're not the only songwriters in lagos we are all songwriters do you understand we're we're not the only ones so where the hell was everybody else so um i think perhaps there's this idea that men know exactly what to do and they're going to get it done i don't think that's the truth do you think the responsibilities we have also affect that like i'm talking about the the married women the the mothers like that probably has some shit to do with why they're not as involved in activities as the men are because mm, no. the men probably have more freedom to you know leave the house women are like the there's like this unspoken curfew you know mm. don't be out too late because we're women you know we're, we're around I, men all the time I it's not safe like what do you think about that no because anybody that's a creative, that's an artist, that's actually a recording artist that releases music, is a rebel in some kind of, to, to a degree. And you know you're not playing by those dusty rules. <laughs> you're not. Come on. You have black lipstick on. <laughs> I barely wear a bra. <laughs> you, know, you, you have blue hair. Like, you know, no. I don't, I don't think that's... Therefore, again, I want to bring us back to the fact that we are so blessed. <laughs> yes. No, I know, like, yes, but... The, the, I, because the people we have around us you know they respect us m- to a certain degree but a lot of um if y- a lot of women other young girls can't really say the same i'm Most not of people tiff, around I'm me so are men and i'm just maka i'm sorry i cannot buy into I'm this the same, yeah. i know it's not like you know you have to play you have to like look at the other side but do I'm you know both. how i start mixing my stuff i'm listening i remember going to a studio it was like my second song and I, we had done two songs and the guy hit on me like twice, tried to kiss me and everything. And I, I was not here for it. Mm-hmm. And it came to like collect my songs. And then he just gave me this crazy fee and I paid, I paid the fee and I was just like, you know what? I wasn't even comfortable in that session. What can I do? I bought myself a secondhand Mac, right? I saved my coins for that thing. I bought a USB mic and I downloaded some dodgy software Mm -hmm. and I started learning how to record. I started learning how to record myself. I think maybe because of the upbringing of a lot of girls, they play the damsel. And this is not an industry for damsels. You have to be a vulture. You you have to be. Men too have to be vultures. You have to stand up and let them know. Even when you're scared, you have to act like mm-hmm. you're going to bite mm-hmm. their heads off, mm-hmm. you know. And I think that's a thing that holds back a lot of girls. And it's, it's held me back at times where I'm just, like, trying to tiptoe around the issue. And I'm like, am I mad? Yeah. And this is because my business. Like what you want. You know, there, there have been some times when 
I would have to be so direct. I'd be like, yo, guy, if you think that you're doing this thing free for me and then, you know, you want to um, do stuff, nigga, tell me how much it'll cost because I'm here for business. Like, mm-hmm. if I want to do shit with you, it will be because I want to, yeah. not because I want you to do this yeah. for me. Yeah. <laughs> no, tell me how much it'll cost. And I will pay that shit and then we, we get work done. Let's even talk about <laughs> non-financial stuff. Let's talk about you in the studio with a man. And you say, no, I want my vocals to sit like this. And he's like, no, no, no. They feel like they like know they're what they're do- doing. This is know? my song, my name. This is how I want it. This is my product. Mm-hmm. Do as I say. By the time you st- you don't have to shout. By the time you're like, uh, no, mm-hmm. I know exactly what I want. Mm-hmm. And because I know my shit, they will calm down. Yeah, yeah. They're just human beings. A lot beings. of them just make you, they're just trying to act like, they can intimidate you. Do you think they didn't try and intimidate Rihanna? Submission. Of course. Oh, do you think, on. like, I read so many books, bruh. It's yeah. not for the faint of heart. Every, it's not at ev- all. And it's not even like, I use this word because this is, what, this is the only word that I can use to describe. But most, ve- most successful female artists, are ten- they describe them as divas or bitches. Mm-hmm. And that's because I want my shit done they how know I want what it they done. Want. They know what they want, man. Yeah. So, I beg... Don't let anybody be chancing you for free because if that if, if it doesn't work out well, nobody's going to say, oh, when you're in the studio that day or when you're in that situation, somebody was like looking at you too hard. No one so you couldn't say what was your mind. Yeah. They will blame you and say you're yeah. trash. <laughs> so that's yeah. how I feel. And I know it's, it might be harsh, but life is harsh. I feel you. Man. Life is harsh. And luckily in Nigeria, nobody's tied to anybody per se. It's not like, you know, it's not like we have... Um, what do you mean by no one's tied to anybody? Like... If you're in America, for example, like look at what happened to Kesha. So mm-hmm. Kesha was under contract. She was, I think, she was raped by her producer. I might be wrong, but something I along mean, those lines. She was sexually assaulted okay. by him, and she said she wanted out of the contract because mm-hmm. she, it was compulsory for her to work with that particular person for based on sound yeah. longevity or whatever. And she's like, I don't want any part of this. And they said that when they took it to court, they said that couldn't no, get out of the you contract. have to continue. And these are because these are huge corporations mm-hmm. in Nigeria. Yeah. Last last people like Frank question. You go and do t- 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 uh, two hours of no sound. <laughs> I'll say, eh. <laughs> so that's why I say when I say you're not really tied to anybody for say. They just come and arrest my ass with no money having. Nigga, please. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. but you know, maybe I'm just I'm just like super like ash. But honestly And the kind of uh, people respond to the energy you give off man Maka, real life. they respond to the vibe if you're if you give off the the vibe that you're this strong woman who knows what she wants they can't even fuck with you facts they can't like if you're the babe that clears niggas on the steady like clears them once they try to 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 go left nah man you bring them back to the center like nigga like don't even it won't even happen again don't even don't n- 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 not with me man it not reminds me, me of a show that i watched <laughs> called f is for family oh i love it yeah, I, yeah. Love it. <laughs> I don't know if you guys it. remember there's his wife um be, uh, she got a job at this plasterware company mm-hmm. And they were, they were all men in the boardroom. And I think she was like a secretary or something like that. And they kept making these sexual jokes mm-hmm. about her. And then she went to go and cry. Aww. And then her other female counterpart came to the office. She's like, no, you have to be an asshole back. That's yeah. what's happened. So she went in there. At the, the Her co-worker went in there. And they started making jokes about that lady. Mm-hmm. And then she said something, something, something. Um, Does your dick even work? She said something mm-hmm. to him. And then he was just like, wow, she's always taking it too far. <laughs> you know? <laughs> <laughs> and... <laughs> You know? Oh, God. <laughs> but let's not make it sound like it's just the men who are assholes to women. Because women Uchile. are assholes to each Uchile. other as well. Is that, you really trying to shake that table, though? Because <laughs> that's where me, I've had my most problems. You know, with other women as well. Yeah. yeah. Educate us, please. <laughs> I've, I've had... Um, it's, there's a reason why there's not a lot of female collaboration. Mm. And it's never... It's, these are things that aren't... It doesn't. It happens passively. Mm. It's not like a girl will be like, "Hey, hey you." I don't want to work n- no, this but it's it's literally the energy mm. that you. I don't know if it's it's a an a, if an idea of scarcity, but I d- I've never I've wa- I always felt like I was always welcomed more by males, and I don't know the intentional. It's a. It's a double-sided coin. Okay. It's the the gift, and the. The curse, you know, from being women, you know, the men would be more receptive 
towards working with us simply because well most times they probably think something else could (laughs) could happen Mm. or but just being with you sha being with you being in the same space right definitely so that's also that's true no that's definitely very true i feel like maybe competition is also a thing and yes exactly competition the lord knows that i feel that very competitive i mean for the longest time sha like i've spoken to Joyce mm-hmm. I've spoken to you guys mm-hmm. yes like, let's do something but mm-hmm. it just seems like time it, has, it never, hasn't yeah just, it, the stars haven't just aligned right but there will be you know what you've heard it here first that cloud <laughs> we are gonna do something <laughs> one of these days one of these we days. have to <laughs> but the thing with to. like um, competition is, is I think it's normal I've even seen it in like animals like let's say uh, two dogs. Survival of the, fi- of the of yeah. yeah, the <laughs> <laughs> So I went into this house and there were two female dogs and there's the male dog over there. So like um the owner was saying, nobody should, you shouldn't let this dog come close to this other one because like anytime they're together, like they start fighting. And I'm like, is it because of territory? The guy, the dog was... The once, bitches. Yes. And, and once they just let this one loose... The guy dog? Just, no. Like, they're two girls. Okay, okay. I thought yeah. they were just two guys. Two guys, they, like, stay together. I think that feminine energy is too... It's powerful. It's very powerful. And then it when is, yeah. women... Because we've been so disenfranchised, historically, economically, mm-hmm. everything, everything. So, we have this in the, um, individualistic mentality. We want to build me first... Before like this crabs. other babe, like yeah. crabs do, that don't let they 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 pull the other crabs down. Like ah. they don't, yeah, it's a thing with them. They pull each other wow. down. Like when they're trying to like come out. If you have like crabs mm-hmm. in a bucket and one is trying to get out, the other crabs will be pulling it <laughs> down. Right, right. Yeah. But yeah, women are trying to build community these days. Um, just just little little things like things like. I don't know. This group just followed me. Fem Africa. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Fem yes. Africa. I think I've seen your name. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So yeah. Fem Africa, they try to bring female artists together. Now we're having little that, things yeah. like that. Yeah. So, cause most of the time when you, when you're with another female, you're. You're first of all gauging her, like Gara. You know? What's your agenda? What's what's your what's your agenda? And then after to, that, we need to. You know what? I'm gonna talk to the people now. Like. Mm-hmm. As women, we need to stop that. The sky is big enough. As I say, I forgot, like the sky is big enough for all of us to do our thing. Like you can you can shine regard regardless. And when you and your sisters shine together, it just makes the whole place brighter. Mm-hmm. And who who doesn't want more light? Honestly. Come on. Honestly. We need to stop this, man. The first thing I saw, like First thing that came to my mind when I saw it, then I was like, man, that dress is paying, man. Like, oh, okay, beautiful, thank you. you know? <laughs> you get, like, we need to start having, we need to start giving off positive energy, man. Mm-hmm. Like, there's Very no need necessary. for the hate and the jealousy. It's not going to take you anywhere. No. Co- collaboration is everything. No but one is saying, oh, you must feature somebody on every song. No, <laughs> it's not even that. Or on everything you want to do. But you can't be an island mm-hmm. and... At the end of the day, there's strength in numbers. Yeah, even just having honest conversations mm-hmm. with your female. So how is it? Yeah, you know, how's you, you doing? Know, you know, talk about shit that you're going through at the you end of the day. You understand? Yeah. So yeah, but um, I do hope we get there and soon. Mm-hmm. We're almost there. Yeah, we're almost there. This almost is like there. a like a second step. Mm, yeah, <laughs> right. Yes, right. I did a there. show last year where the band was all female. There's this amazing all female band. I would hook you guys up with them. I've forgotten their name, Bella Groove. Yes, Bella Groove. Did this that and at the time the drummer was pregnant. She was heavily I know her. pregnant. She, she does. Um, she was heavily for pregnant. Femme. Femme <laughs> yeah. Africa. Okay, wow. she so came to rehearsals with a little son. She was. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I didn't so even um, uh, follow up, but she was heavily pregnant at the time, and the babe just they jam sha, and the <laughs> stomach was just like, I was like, babe, like, please, are you okay? Like, is everything? But it was so cool to yeah. be with them, like during rehearsals, and then the the saxophonist, you know, she was just there. It was just such mm. a beautiful yeah. sight, and I, I'd always, I don't know if you remember a few. Years ago, before I started my band, one band like that, I put out on Twitter that I 
actually wanted like women to come together yes, let's do that. something like an all female band so even if you're not so great at what you do but like all the instrumentals would complement each other so a female drummer and a mm, pianist mm. and everything like mm -hmm. let's do something you actually replied mm -hmm. that I tweet. did you did you did but I never really got the, <laughs> <laughs> the response and the thing just died and at the end of the day I'm not the only woman of in my course. band of all niggas <laughs> 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 It'd be like that. It'd be like that. Wow. <laughs> and I wasn't even trying to be like the band leader. I just wanted um, artists who could also play instruments mm -hmm. to come mm -hmm. together once in a while right. and jam and right. do something, you know, and do something. Because most times, even though you are an instrumentalist, when you perform, you don't really play. You just um, you just on the mic. You don't drum and perform. But okay. I wanted to give us the opportunity or the platform to just to, to also meet and, you know, express those parts of ourselves mm. as women together. Just do it together as women. Right, so right. It never really worked out. Wow. <sighs> That's deep. All right. So um, we were talking about the difference between a pop star and a musician. So, like... Do you think yeah. there's actually like a difference between a pop star and a musician? Which one would you want to be uh, seen as first? For me, uh, musician, you have to be a musician to be a pop star. But later on, like a pop star is a musician who is just, Popular. you know, more into like the, the pop culture, you mm -hmm. know, more mainstream, you know, superstar life and all that, blah, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. So, so first of all, you are a musician. But as for the difference, do you, you want to take that? Um... From outside, uh, I think the difference would be that a pop star is watered down, bubblegum, mm -hmm. and a musician is just like doesn't care about the money, it's about the art and all that stuff. Yes, correct. But I don't know if that's fair. Um, they're kind of the same because you can be a pop star, but you are not a musician. You're just, I don't know how to explain it. I feel like musician, like there's a lot of what do you call it talent like involved. a natural live element to yes, it yes there's as something a as it like I there's substance think, i we, don't know should we check the dictionary definition <laughs> of a musician because i think a pop star is still a musician it's still a musician yeah. <laughs> but you're now like the perception so, of yes it. the perception, the perception of a pop thing star. i guess you know but well, yeah. some people say that beyonce is not a musician, but oh, they should not even try that. Oh, I had someone that sings that she really got angry. She never tried with me. Uh, uh, like I said, if you actually pay attention and you stop, if you don't focus on the visuals and listen to the lyrical content, you know that she's a musician or her of compositions. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but, anyways, course. you know, people that don't know anything, that's why I said an outsider's perspective. They just, you know, they give them um, very shallow um, opinions of stuff. You yeah. know, they don't read anything, they, they just see something on Twitter and then they just. Regurgitate, regurgitate <laughs> you know, just to be a part of a conversation. It's like, yo, go and look into what Beyonce is doing. Man. That that woman puts in work, man. So much. Work. Um, She's an artist. I watched. I, 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 I don't think there's a there. <laughs> there are very few Beyonce performances that I haven't watched. Like on Same random here. days, I just go on YouTube for the sole purpose of you know checking what she's been up to. Same here. Hey, you know, it's just. I was watching them her Tina Turner she will perform her. Do you know that? It's like that spirit enters her. That's Beyonce. There's one with Did Stevie she, Wonder. Tina Turner, uh -huh. I have, I've seen that one hey, with, um, that was uh, with Jay Clark Jr. And she... Uh, uh, she really yes. Tried the guitarist did something to her spirit because that wasn't Beyonce. <laughs> it wasn't. <laughs> that was, I don't know And then she went on that was. stage trying to be calm and then it got to a point she was just like... <laughs> And she what even twerked a little bit in that performance. <laughs> <laughs> the, that, I, I think it was what Gary. Gary was doing as if he was not doing anything. But he was doing, yeah. You know what you are doing. He was shaking Beyonce's spirit. <laughs> but Music yeah, is no. amazing. It really uh, is amazing. Yeah. But yeah, so um, I think, I personally think that outsiders in would be like, yeah, pop star is somebody that yeah. doesn't care about the art. But when you actually create art, I think even if you speak to the Migos, even though their music sounds like, huh, 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 mm -hmm. yeah, huh, like, when they 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 put a lot of effort mm -hmm. into their craft, mm -hmm. it might not sound like it, but that's the beauty of it yeah. to make it seem effortless. Mm -hmm. I guess the the main difference between a pop star and a musician would be just the fact that the pop star is 
supposed to be the mainstream artist. Mm. The musicians are more niche. Mm-hmm. Mm. Even like though, that. still, they're both musicians, but musician in the context we're trying to give it. Is yeah. We're niche. We're more niche. We're more into live performances. You know, when they want to do stuff like this now, Clouds will call people like us, like, yeah. you know, like <laughs> Joyce, like myself. Yeah. You know, they want to have a live session. They call us because yeah. they know that we are live performers. We are yes. performers. And then we would, our voices don't need, you know, all them <laughs> extra effects and stuff. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Very, true. Hmm. Very true. I was going to say something, but. Uh huh. Yes, there's also something that I've always wanted to talk about. Okay, like with these these new musicians now, um, killing it. You know them, Fireboy, the two boys, the Joe Boy and mm-hmm. Fireboy, <laughs> <laughs> and Omale and you know World and all that. Yeah, all that. I mean, you know, their lyrics is like the men have you know more freedom. Okay, I think we we talked about it a little bit in the beginning okay. of the conversation. We were talking about um, where as pussy. Like mm-hmm. the lyrics and stuff, but like the when it now comes to women trying to be as free, you know, as flexible when it comes to lyrics and still still provide enjoyable songs, mm-hmm. songs that are still mainstream. It feels like women will still bring it back to love mm-hmm. and heartbreak, you know. But the men, they just like sing about anything they jump on the beat and they just write like even delivery wise you know it's not even just about the lyrics but delivery wise it's just free but subconsciously women are just so contained um curtailed and contained in mm. the studio not me or not you mm-hmm. of course i mean I know, come on. <laughs> she she sang <laughs> my pussy is popping for you, so obviously <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> But like a lot of women are just more curtailed and if they're trying to sing a a um, a, a hit now, I think Tiwa Savage and Yemi Alade are the only women that are uh that um the mainstream singers that I know are very flexible with their lyrics. They mm. can Sorry, sing can just about anything. Koroba, I'm yeah. not going to live to <laughs> suffer <laughs> <laughs> if I follow politicians. <laughs> 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 Sorry. Something like we that. don't just have to sing about <laughs> love, you know, love and heartbreak and shit. Like, there's, there's, the world is big. Like, there's so many things we can sing about yeah. and still pop, you know, regardless. But, and that's why I respect Tiwa Savage and Yemi Rade. They just get on the mic and then it's just like, what I'm writing Niniola a song. and Asha huh? as babes. Like Nini no, no, and Asha. Asha's one is no no no. I'm talking about being mm. a pop star now. Okay. Like, yeah, okay, yeah. Okay. No, no, being a niche artist gives you the liberty to write anything. Even our beats of the instrumentation allows us to the the topics are vast. We can sing a song called the the conga drum mm-hmm. in the studio. Like <laughs> we can sing about the guy in the blue hoodie. Yes, it's <laughs> It gives us the liberty to be vague and ambiguous with our writing. But when you are a pop star, your lyrics have to be catchy. The The theme has to be direct, you know, and stuff like that. But most women I've seen, they just want to... They take the safe route and think about love and, you know, heartbreak or I'll be there for you and shit like that. But there's so much more to talk about because the guys, the counterparts, they're, when you listen to their song, even if it's about love, but their delivery... Is in a totally the way they talk way. about love yeah, is different. It's, it's different. It's different. It's very different. Yeah, it's not from a victim perspective. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. It's from a yeah, Shaye, like you just yeah. want to. They're still having fun and still. <laughs> I don't know how to explain no, it you know, more than this. But when you say that, the song <laughs> that comes to mind is um, it's an Omale song. I do. He goes. Um, she know I be bad boy. I did smoke burn. I did smoke cigar. I know we'll get work. <laughs> <laughs> like, anyway, talk about her loving him. He just talk about everything that's bad about him, but <laughs> she still loves me. So yeah. <laughs> so you're, you know, you're very right. And yeah. I, th- well, I'm definitely. I think, although I think I kind of exude a bit of toxicity in my music, I think um, I'm a bit guilty of that. And mm-hmm. I say, but I, my excuse to myself is that. Um, I can only speak on what I know. What I was gonna say, and I speak on my experiences. I feel like the day I make my first like one million dollars, then (laughs) yeah, this this bitch got money, (laughs) you know. (laughs) But until then, but really and truly, maybe it's just lazy of me, Hmm. and maybe I feel like that's just the easy way out. Actually, 
Like love what? songs are the easiest. I can sit down here and give you. A, like we can do that. Like yeah. Drop an album full of love songs. Really and truly. Well, let's challenge ourselves more, women. I think it's that. a challenging. Yeah. yeah, I think that's very, very true. Very, mm-hmm. very true. I agree with that. So, mm. yeah. So I think you wanted to ask us something. Yes. Um, the representation of women in music videos. <laughs> you were saying earlier that there's something where they vex you. <laughs> what is that? Oh, man. <laughs> I hate, I hate, I hate the way women are represented in videos. I don't like that women are used as, as like backdrops and mm. ornaments, and <laughs> they, they're, we're like caricatures of ourselves. Excessive ass shaking on a bend. Doesn't matter what the song is about. Mm. The money can be like, <laughs> God, don't do ammo, yeah. <laughs> it's a sexy I'm in the club popping champagne. Again. And you just see that like, these girls, like, there's just vibrations everywhere. And I'm like, what are we really, really expressing here? <laughs> I remember talking about video ideas for a song. And in the song, I am the, I am the dominant person in the song. Duh, I wrote it. <laughs> so, you know, this guy's like, no, so what you need to do for this video, you need a guy, I need to dance for him. I'm like, huh? dance for a guy. In That's my own so song. cute. I'm like, dance for a guy. <laughs> Say yeah, then you do. You now do a nude show. You won't be nude, but you look nude. I'm like, what? Uh-uh. what what's all of this? <laughs> it's like yeah, you're an R&B artist. I was like yeah, but this that is not. But I, feel I was like, like I'm not. Is something you would even be open to now. Nah, it's not. Even, it's actually not my brand. If really? You, if you actually dip I'm it, like surprised. I don't dress. If you look, go through my Instagram page. I'm not scantily dressed. No, no, no. I'm not even saying that. I'm saying like for like if you had to be nude for a particular um, project. Nah. I feel like. I'm more of a statement type of person. Okay. Like, I mean, come on, I did slot walk. So I'm mm-hmm. really about, mm-hmm. you know, I want, to, if I'm making a statement, it's going to be artistic and it's going to be, I'm not going to just okay. be out here twerking for a nigga or, you know, I feel like it's so cliche. Yeah, but yeah. the point I'm trying to make is that I feel like even in my own, in my own show, they were trying to make me Mm. an ornament for a man mm. and I didn't like that mm. and I, I made it very clear I was like my video is going to be all women if there are going to be any men in my video they're going to be dancing and I want effeminate men hmm. or mm. gay men <laughs> I don't want anybody that's here trying to be alpha on my head it's Mm-mm. not happening Mm-mm. this is my fucking you. world you know <laughs> yeah so um and I think it's propagated so much in media and I feel like really and truly it's up to us the female entertainers if you're I feel like we have to be very, very mindful of that stuff. I feel like I watched, I haven't watched everything, but I watched Black is Gold or King. Black is King. I, I watched my too. power video. And I was, I, I didn't cry, but I remember seeing the scene of that. They were doing all these like, I don't know if they were Kenyan dancers or Ugandan dances. And there was this heavily pregnant one. She was about mm. seven months. And she did the dance and it was just mm. all women. And they were just so powerful. And I was like, I feel like a little girl Watching yeah. a hero on Beyonce TV. Beyonce does that a lot with her. You know, with her dancers. Even though she has female dancers, but you know yeah. that they don't give off this um, slutty vibe. Yes, no, exactly. do you understand? And I, vibe. and I really, I was just like, this is what I want to portray. I want young girls to see my video, and feel like, yeah, I feel good about that. And I feel like a lot of people outside of Africa are doing that. I watched um, two, I watched two things. Cesar has a new song called Hit Different. Mm. Have you seen the video? Yes. I haven't. Yes, that yes, video yes, is yes. phenomenal. I'll go check it's out. It's oh, they dance, they dance and you know, you know, they, they, there's a lot of like rubbing their bodies and you know, it's... So, what do you not think about, okay, with that opinion and WAP video, Even think? WAP is very powerful in the way that the movements are, because I, I don't like the song but I like the video. I feel like, I don't know what it is about the particular dance moves or how they showed themselves, but I didn't I didn't think, oh, you know, this is a bit weird for me. Every woman in that video to me looked very powerful. Mm-hmm. They were represented with power. Yeah, Things you like know, tigress, maybe it was a cheetah, leopard, the cheetah, the yeah. clothes that they were wearing. And Kylie's uh, cameo, you know, you know when she just walked in all... She's a billionaire. You know, she's walking in exactly. there sexy yeah. as hell. Yeah. It was just power in that video. And um, I watched Megan Thee Stallion's BT performance, you know, there was no real in house performances, yeah, yeah. and it was her and girls as well. And it was like they were in these deserts with feathers, and they also looked powerful. And make the silence twerks, mm-hmm. <laughs> so she's twerking, but she looks I don't know what. Uh, let's it, talk about Lizzo. What do you guys think about oh, her? Come I on. love Lizzo. Lizzo. I think like more Lizzo. girls should be like her. Fuck, I love her. <laughs> more girls should be ah. like her. Someone who is free in herself. <laughs> 
and it's not a like you know they, you're gonna get a lot of backlash or and what? she does get a lot of like, backlash. it doesn't make any sense what's wrong with Sometimes her she's annoying. Annoying. I ain't gonna lie. so what is but everybody not annoying <laughs> like a lot of people are but annoying. for the most part she's she's phenomenal and yeah. she's so talented as well Mm-hmm. I remember watching her performance with the flute. Oh, yeah, yeah. And then yeah. she did the twerk, and I was she's like... Been, she's been playing the flute since uh, high, um, high school. She no, she's... The band and stuff. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> she's um she's phenomenal. And I just feel like... I don't know what the disparity is between our, our media. Maybe it's, maybe there are not enough female directors. Maybe, maybe that's what it is. But we need to really consolidate it. Even if there were female directors, I was going to say, too, that even female artists who are doing videos still want the slots in their videos to shake ass because they feel like that's what's going to sell. You know, like we said earlier, that sex sell. So even the women still put these women in their videos just for, you know, mm. just as props. You know what? And I think the way I said it earlier was a bit wild. It's not that I'd, I have a thing against people twerking. I don't, I don't have a problem with that. It's not an issue for me. But, and even the male gaze is not an issue for me. Mm-hmm. But... When it's so consistent, I, I think I watched the video, but you know when, when you spray champagne over your ass, mm-hmm. it's a requirement. It, there's something very gross mm-hmm. about it. And I know that if I have children, I I don't want them to see re- women in that as that representation because mm-hmm. it just further propagates the issues that we have in Nigeria, which is like women being property, mm-hmm. being treated as uh, something you acquire once you have money. Mm-hmm. Secondhand citizens. Seco- you know, it's just, it's not cute. So anybody that's listening here, if you're a director, cut that shit out. It's so inauthentic. <laughs> Literally, it's trash. cut that shit out. It's like, like so 2004. Please get your, I mean, up your game, man. Go and watch your counterparts abroad. You need to be more creative. Honestly, you it's can so be, you can be very creative. You can make a statement Go on YouTube. without having to 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 have women do all that shit, man. Exactly, yeah. because women have played like a seminal, like like part a in part sub in, co- you know. subculture, mm-hmm. in everything that they do, like being managers, being mm-hmm. even as. Um, directors for like albums and stuff. Yeah, Masego's okay, album was directed by a woman. Mm. So th- he showed us the first, the first um shot was just him and this fern, or like a plant here. But then when they put like they brought in like a female team, like I don't know, it just like what the energy just hmm. spice sauce so and no, everything we are nice. Just spice, like, man. We're spiced. It was like just, we just, we just it was just fantastic. We're everything. Yeah. And then uh, yeah, we have questions, have, oh guys. Okay. Yeah, our roles in um, mm-hmm. um, pop culture, yes. you know, fashion, and all. How even men now are wearing, <laughs> uh, they adorn them dresses themselves with, you know, with I really love it. Stuff I like, like it yeah, too. Yeah. Did you? See, I don't know if you've seen Sadauda's album cover. The, no, I haven't. I love but it. But I saw the new video, the one he did with Simi. Oh yeah, I didn't see that. Okay. See, we are missing things. That but yes, yeah, Sadauda, like he's. I think he wore this. I don't know, but I know that the bottom is like a dress. Mm. Okay. Yeah, like something Billy Potter could wear or something mm-hmm. like that. So okay, I was like, okay. I was kind of proud of him. You I know, w- men are painting their nails now. Painting like their the nails. Musicians, the mm. male singers, male mm-hmm. the even rappers painting their nails. I have yeah. my own reservations about that, but <laughs> <laughs> you know. wearing chokers, yeah, and stuff like that. You know, being in touch with their feminine Inside, side, yes, which is exactly. healthy. It's very healthy. I think there's too much artificial testosterone and masculinity mm. in our industry. It's just, uh, you know. But um, I think in rounding up, um, I would like to ask. I will ask you, and you can ask her. Right. Okay. Um, and then you can ask me. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 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 Let's go. Um, what do you appreciate most about being a female artist, and what do you despise the most about fe- being a female artist? <laughs> being patronized. Hmm, like, that's a good one. Yeah, cause like. Hey, so you can do this. Oh, you do this too. Mm-hmm. Oh, can you come? You, I'm like, hey, yeah. <laughs> I don't know, <laughs> ma'am. <laughs> I'm a human being like you. It's yeah, just that, same you know, brain. more boys in the class. But at the end of the day, we're still beings. And some of us are interested in what you like to do. I don't know, like, um, that's what's... That's what I like and, like, I don't like. The fact that they patronize me. So it's more like they're excited and they're, like, letting you do stuff just to see how mm-hmm. well you perform. At the same time, I don't like that because why are you trying to see how well I can perform? Because you want me to really fuck musician? up. Yeah, <laughs> like, there's a little bit, little bit of pressure. That's what I don't like. But I don't know. I, I just, I, I might use it to my advantage. Yeah, so yeah. like to you too. Well, I think for me, uh, 
the same thing I love is the same thing I hate. Like being a woman <laughs> is amazing, and I love the perks of being a woman in the industry. <laughs> and it's also, <laughs> it's also one of the curses as well, you know. And uh, how sometimes I'm not able to. I'm not given the freedom to express myself the way that I want to just because I'm a woman. I, I, I just want to summarize it because we're rounding up. So mm-hmm. um, I think what I like about being a female is that I'm able to be as vulnerable as I desire to be. Mm-hmm. And I'm able to express myself through fashion as much as I can. I'm not limited because mm-hmm. uh, anybody's scared I'm gay or I'm yeah. like a lesbian or whatever. Um, I think I also despise how... As much as I say I, I can express, I'm still inhibited yeah. to a degree. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And how I always have to be, I in every situation, I always have to be, have my antennas up just to make sure that I'm not the butt of anybody's you know, joke. Yes. And then nobody like taking that. advantage of mm-hmm. me and, you know, I'm getting the best out of everything. And, yeah. you know, it, I'm being taken seriously. Yeah, well, this this was a really good talk, man. Yeah, it was. It was great. Fantastic. But that'd been so much if we had like drinks and. Well, <laughs> I don't know <laughs> why <laughs> clouds. <laughs> Hello. They're not giving us a little, you know, you. sippy sippy, <laughs> but it's okay. We forgive you guys. <laughs> so yeah. So lovely to to hang out with you guys again. Yeah. Like, it's been a while since we've had like personal, you know, physical yeah. conversations. It's been if at all you're talking to friends, it's over the phone, you know, yeah, Zoom, or Zoom Twitter, and all that, or Twitter, social media and things. So, to, yeah. so this was really, really fun for me. It was great. It was great. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it was. Okay. So I think hopefully we see you guys another time. We had pretty voices and we'd like to come back and talk oh, more. Oh we should plug ourselves though. Yeah, no. oh, oh yes. Mm. And then should be? Yeah. So first of all, this is Joyce Olong. Um, singer, songwriter, producer, and I had, I just released a song out of town, so go feast your ears on that, yeah, man, yeah, man. and mm-hmm. enjoy yourself, yeah. and there's more coming also, and yes, and yeah. my name is Maka, I'm a singer, songwriter, performer, and an entrepreneur, I'm mm. a jeweler as well, this is my brand, so, <laughs> and uh, yeah, so just go check me out. The official Maka.com. Maka is spelled M A K A, not M A R K R. It's very <laughs> annoying when you guys make the Maka joke. It's annoying. <laughs> it's like, get over it. It's not Maka. Ah, Maka, the one they used to draw. No. <laughs> <laughs> it's M A K A. God bless. <laughs> um, my name is Dina Ade. I'm a singer, songwriter, and activist. And um, you can find me any and everywhere at Dina Ade. Ade like A D E. Dina like D W E N A. Stay blessed. All right.